Hi guys, so today we're going to be making a spicy sweet and sour fish with lychee. Can you imagine the flavours? It's sweet, it's tangy, it's savoury, it's fruity. Can't wait. Now, first off, what we're going to do is we have here a fish. Now, I'm just using regular sea bass. What we're going to do is we're going to score. Take a sharp knife, cut down the flesh right up to the bone. So what this is going to help is it's going to help sort of cook the fish faster and get a lot more flavour inside the fish. Next, we're going to season the fish generously with salt. Get it inside the flesh as well, the cavity of the fish. Next, we're going to dredge this fish in some cornstarch. Flip it the other side. Get some of the cornstarch in the flesh as well. Now the cornstarch does two things. Yeah, one is it will help you lessen the splatter. Yeah, it will dry up the fish so that it doesn't splatter so much when it's inside the oil. Secondly, it will give a nice crisp to the exterior of the fish. Beautiful. Now dust off all the excess. Jiggle it a little bit. You know what I mean? Jiggle, jiggle. Here I've got a wok of oil that's been heated up already. Now fish goes in. So there's a general concern uh, that people have about frying whole fish. Yeah, a little bit intimidated maybe. Well, it really is a lot simpler than what people think, yeah? The trick is to put the fish in and just let it sit inside that hot oil and bubble away. Don't touch it, don't try and disturb it, and just let it seal on the outside. Let the oil do the work, yeah? Let it cook through, and once it forms this nice crust on the exterior, then you flip the fish over. If you try and do it before, what's gonna happen is your fish is gonna fall apart and just break off. So for sweet and sour, generally you have a lot of different condiments. Today I'm using some capsicum. Remove the seeds, cut them into nice chunks. You also want to have different colors in the dish. So I'm mixing the green capsicum with the red. Okay, I'm also gonna be adding in one onion. Yeah, I've peeled this yellow onion. Now what I'm going to do is just wedge them. Now I've got here some cherry tomatoes, which I've halved already. Okay, now let's check on the fish. You can see what I mean by the crust on the surface of the fish, the exterior is formed. And that way it just lifts off the wok so easily. And I'm just going to let it colour a little bit more on the other side before we flip it over. For the sauce, I have here about five tablespoons of tomato sauce. I'm going to combine that, it's about a tablespoon and a half of soy sauce, a tablespoon of vinegar, and we're going to balance that with a good heaping tablespoon of sugar, All right? Give this a good mix. All right, so this has been about four, four to five minutes in, yeah? And we're going to flip the fish. You can see that nice crisp that's formed on the exterior, and that's what's going to sort of be that crunch when you bite into your fish. Alright, so we've given it about four minutes on the other side as well. Now, it's time to remove the fish. Look at how golden that is. Set it down on the kitchen towel so that it absorbs all that, you know, leftover oil. And we'll remove the kitchen towel, of course, before we serve this fish, okay? Alright, so, before we carry on with the sauce, I want to pre-fry or flash fry the condiments, the capsicum, the onions, and the tomatoes first, because that will give a lot more flavour to the dish. A little bit of oil in a hot pan. You sort of want to get this oil nice and smoking hot before we chuck in our condiments because you want that char. Here we go. I'm going to add a splash of soy sauce. This will sort of flavor the condiment and also help caramelize, help char them really nicely. You get that nice aroma once it hits the hot pan. Tomatoes in. Once again, we're not cooking this too, and the reason we're doing this is because I do not want the condiments to turn soft and soggy if I add it to the sauce and cook it together with the sauce. So this way, all your condiments stay nice, crunchy, fresh. And this is ready to come out. Look at that beautiful colour. A little bit more oil to the wok, and now we're going to start off, remember I said a spicy, sweet and sour fish? because I love my food spicy. So this I'm adding uh, grounded chilies. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cook off, fry off this chili until they're cooked, yeah? Because the last thing you want is raw chili taste inside 
your sauce. If you're not someone who's a fan of spicy food, you can completely yeah, omit this. This is entirely optional. Um, I just feel like adding a bit of spice to a sweet and sour sauce sort of brings it to another dimension. Yeah. All right, how do you know whether the chilies are completely fried off? You can see they sort of turned foamy and the oil has split from the chili. Yeah. Now, in goes the sauce mixture. To this, I'm going to add a splash of water. There we go, nice. Just to loosen it up a little bit. All right, it's time to give it a little taste. It's sharp, yep, with the acid, but it's nicely balanced with the sugars. The chili in there sort of burns the throat at the end. So you get this really nice, sweet, tangy, savory flavor in the beginning, and then a little bit of burn on the throat at the end. So that's what I mean by the different dimension. Maybe it's just because I love chilies too much, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's all up to you. All right, now, sauce is almost done. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna throw in the condiments. Condiments back in, sort of give everything a good toss, a good mix around. Lychees, one of my favorite fruits. So we're adding in some lychees now, together with a little bit of the brine, just so that we get that sort of fruity sweetness from the lychees. Look at the amazing color. All right, now we're ready to serve this. Scoop up this delicious sauce together with all those condiments and just put it over the fish. Oh, more lychees here and there. I love the lychees in the sweet and sour, you know why? Because, you know, it's very unassuming and when you bite into it, it gives you this burst of sweet fruitiness that you don't, would normally not expect in a sweet and sour uh, dish. All right, just a little garnish. I have here some spring onion twirls, ladies and gentlemen. Spicy sweet and sour fish with lychee. Enjoy. All right, so now for a little taste test. Mm. This is one of those dishes that we usually only get during Chinese New For some reason, I do not know why, but if I want to have it, I have to cook it on my own. If you've never tried sweet and sour fish with lychee, you really have to do it. Go to market, get a fish, have whatever condiments in your fridge, cucumber, capsicum, doesn't matter. Make sure you have lychee. A few different sauces put together, do it. Do it ASAP because this is too good. Kids absolutely love it, of course, without the chilies. I hope you guys try this dish out. It really is delicious. If you think this content has added value to you, you like it, please do hit the like and subscribe button. Not forgetting the little notification bell on the right so you get a new update whenever we have a video out for you guys. Take care, guys. See you all next week.